How about now? Can you hear me now? Good. As I was saying, let us give a round of applause for application Venboy for their assistance in helping to stave off death for my CPU a little bit longer. If this works out, it should make a lot of my streams moving forward uh, much more pleasurable since I won't be needing to use my PNG tuber as much. Um, I do apologize to everyone for spending the, or watching the last half hour of me trying to struggle with getting uh, this all to work, but it is all good. It seems to have... Um, uh, it seems to have helped. At the very least, my CPU is no longer topping 99 to 100. Now it's back down to uh, high 80s and mid 90s. But hey, every little bit of a uh, CPU processor usage helps, you know? Mm -hmm. Still, though, I'm pretty much feeling my view. I could feel my viewer count screaming right now. That's usually what happens when people are like, oh, I'm going to lurk in Law's stream. And then they stop streaming for a short time to fix something, and it's like, oh, herp derp, they didn't return. <laughs> but I digress. Always disable viewer count? No, I like keeping viewer count on purpose. I mean, I don't look at it actively because I use, I just use, I check, use Stream Manager on my phone now, and I'm not looking at my phone 24 7. But um, I prefer to, I don't know. Let's, let's, uh, let's go. Um, what was I going to do before we actually got into it? All right. Uh, a few things I want to talk about before you started streaming today. Um, I have joined a VTuber. I have joined a VTuber group. I was actually invited to join Thai Hi VT by Willow, who is the current uh, owner admin of Thai Hi VT. Um, so that was very exciting. I didn't expect to be part of a VTuber group this early into my career. I was actually planning on starting my own with some other girls from my previous community. Uh, yep, I did all those things. I disabled VTuber, the VTuber Plus, um, the VT Plus uh, source, or rather, this might be a stupid question, but you know how there's an eye icon on the sources and you can choose to like, you can choose to hide them or not? Does pushing the eye icon count the same as disabling them, or does it not disable? Okay, then, yeah, I got it disabled and it's running off of Spout 2 capture right now. See? Woo! Alright. So, yeah, I joined uh, Thai High VT, which is very interesting. Um, it was a definitely a lot more slapdash and a lot more informal than I ex was expecting for joining a VTuber group, but you know what? Um, that's no problem to me. I much prefer to avoid uh, any unnecessary paperwork or any um, unnecessary stuffiness if possible. And no, it's not enabled in, in a different scene, I don't think. Oh, fuck. Well, we're not going to be using any just chatting tonight, I don't think so. Um, so, aside from that, what else do I have planned? Um, I'm working on a new Vroid model that I'm going to be deploying on Friday. It is a cyberpunk model, so I thought it would be, you know, it would be fitting since we play Deus Ex on Fridays. Um, actually, I think that's it for right now. There's a few other things, like projects I got working underneath, working, working in the background, but nothing too special to talk about at the moment. Without further ado, let us go ahead and continue. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I forgot what all the buttons do in this game. Okay, so I have an axe now, so I can kill things. Papa John's. That's sprinting. There's a bunny there. So space bar is to uh, is to um, is to. Fuck! I need a drink. One second.
Technically, tonight is also my first drinking stream, so I do have a nice glass of red wine here. I have some wine left over from the barbecue day when I was making my own hamburgers. And I don't want to waste it, even though it's very cheap wine. So I've been drinking a little bit, about a glass a day. A little bit of red wine is not bad for you if you drink it in moderation. But what did it say now? Hallucinations are manifesting at increasing intervals. The cause is probably sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I've not yet been injured, so I don't think they, the cause is a brain injury or a blood clot. A fitting drink, considering earlier in the game. <laughs> Wait, Ace, what's a good idea? Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's go time. Oh, yeah. In fact, I think either Pastel or someone else suggested that they play a drinking game and be like, take a drink every time Lulz gets spooked. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, well, this is just lovely. Oh, and uh, chat, do me a favor. If I ever have to, like, take a break and, like, stop playing for a little bit, remind me to push put the game on the pause screen so I don't accidentally so I don't end up being killed for sitting in place for too long. Because I I died that way like three times last stream. <laughs> anyway. I know something's gonna pop out like on the walls fairly soon. Because spookies like that. Alright then. Oh, we're doing the endless hallway bit, huh? That's how it is. Well, unfortunately for you, game, I've played Super Smash 64 quite a lot. Oh, now we're going to be... Oh, um... Oh, uh, the, the music. I, I see I see what you're doing. Getting a nice ASMR going on in the background. Man, I am such a slut for good audio design, let me tell you. Um, the specimen that really- oh, fuck me! Are you fucking kidding me? Anyway, um, the, uh, the, um, the one that really got me the most was actually, um, the specimen, the, uh, the deer, the deer god. The one that killed me, the one, the first specimen to kill- Oh my fucking god. No, 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 no. We're doing, we're doing, this is, we're in Quake 3 now, huh? That's what we're doing. We're do, no, not Quake 3. We're playing Doom 3 now. I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, I like Doom 3, so joke's on you. Doing the fucking, knowing that I'm a, I'm a fucking science fiction writer. I, I write science fiction, horror science fiction that takes place in, a band space stations, thank you very much. This old place is somehow even worse than the new GL labs. Although it seems to have been constructed with a lo much larger budget than the new lab, nothing works quite right. I can see why it was quickly abandoned so quickly. I wonder if there really is anything we're here worth salvaging. Oh, fuck me. I know the game's gonna start when I push this button. Uh, good luck, GL Labs. I'm assuming that means good luck labs, right? Or something like that. Oh, wow. I see that I cannot climb over waist-high boxes. Very typical of the genre. But no, um, the first monster to kill me was actually the puppet, and that's because I didn't know how to fight the puppet. And I fucking hate it anytime something is done with your eyes in games and in movies. So that really screwed me over. Because I, I literally had to... Oh, are you shitty? Oh, yeah. Yep, I... Yep, we're going all... We're going all, uh... We're going all Xenomorph on this shit, huh? I know... I know what your game is. Game. You don't think I fucking... You don't think I play... Uh... You know... 
Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh god. I'm getting flashbacks to fucking Ultra Kill. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh, I'm tempted to cheat and to lower the volume on my, on my headset. Oh god. What the fuck is this? Uh, wait, I'm actually- uh, wait, oh, I need to- okay, I need to use the, uh, the axe, right? Can I- can I- can I- can I- Uh, there's someone there, isn't there? I can't even sprint on this thing! Woo! Oh, man. Spooky just said that there were things we needed to salvage from this place. I'm starting to worry that a loose specimen may be included in the list of things for us to retrieve. The power just shut off again. Is everything broken in here? Woo! There are barely even a few minutes into the game, and I'm already sweating, chat. I'm I'm not exaggerating. I'm not I'm not shitting. I should post it right now. I, I... Oh my fucking god! I don't know what to do. I can't think well. I feel strange. I'm hiding from that thing. I feel like something is growing on my skin. I can't seem to tear it off fast enough, and I'm losing a lot of blood. Wait, what? Oh boy, it's right behind me, isn't it? It's gonna appear right behind me. I've, I've, I've this that's very common in this kind in this in this uh, genre of sci-fi horror. You have to keep it close. It becomes something else when it gets too far away. Something I can't outrun. What do you mean you have to get it close? How the fuck am I supposed? Is this like the puppet except on steroids? It's gonna be behind me. I know it. I know it. It's it's gonna be behind me. Oh, it's a langolier. It's a it's not a langolier. That's not a fucking langolier. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse. It's fucking worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay. This is this is just like the uh this is okay. Calm down. Oh, fuck! What's happening? Uh, 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 uh. Why did I choose tonight to drink wine? Oh. 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 I feel the blood rushing out of my head. Oh. I'm getting too excited. Oh. I actually feel the blood rushing out of my rushing my head. Woo! Oh. Oh my god. Oh. I don't uh, Oh my god. I feel I feel faint chat. I I think I might actually have to pause the game a little bit here to drink some water. I'm not I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I actually started to feel faint. Oh, did I just run into a dead end? Ah! Oh, okay, it only does half damage to your health. Okay, we can do this. Wait, I don't need to look behind me, do I? I just need to... Okay. I don't... I just need to keep it a certain distance. I don't need to actually look behind me. Okay, cool. Oh my fucking god. It's amazing what you can do with very simplistic graphics. This is quite this is actually manages to be more horrifying than some higher budget of space horror games, you know? Woo! Alright, I think we're going to do good, chat. I think I think we're doing good. Yeah, we're all in room 618. Eight, 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 <laughs> I have to do this shit for another 80 plus rooms. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> oh. 
Man, you know what? The uh, the initial form, the first form, the Langolier form, wasn't that bad. If, if anything, I thought it was kind of cute. Langoliers used to scare me so much as a kid. Oh my god. I love Stephen King. Is it just me, or is he moving, walking faster? Maybe I'm walking slower? <laughs> Yeah, maybe I am just walking slower. Uh, uh, six room six twenty, room six twenty. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, now I'm sure. Now I'm certain it's running. It's moving faster. Maybe it's getting frustrated that it can't capture me with moving at just base walking speed. Or maybe I'm going nuts and it's not actually walking faster. I'm just walking slower. That first form was actually the original Specimen 10. They replaced it with this one. Big old news, Kyle! Buggy! Oh, fuck! God damn it. Oh, really? That original one was the... Original? And this is the new one, huh? Well, 10 out of 10. This one's fairly good, I think. Were the sounds in the original one too? Because those are fairly, those are pretty damn good sounds, all things considered. Six twenty nine. Okay. I can't believe I have to put up deal with three hundred more rooms of this shit. <laughs> It is moving faster, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to announce on, tw on Twitter that I'm streaming. I guess once we get to the next sit- I guess once we get a pausing point, I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for coming, everyone. Your attendance is greatly appreciated, as always. If you find that you enjoy my content and are not turned off by my how easily scared nature, feel free to drop me a follow. I would greatly appreciate it. Every follow helps. I recently reached 300. Oh, fucking shit! God damn it! I recently reached 300 followers, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway for that fairly soon once I think of one. I still need to finish the uh, stuff I did for reaching 200 followers, so it might be a little bit, maybe in a week or so. We'll see. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, cool. It's not following. Okay. We're going to take a quick break here to announce on Twitch, on Twitter, that I am streaming. And then we'll get back into it. We've made it, and I remember to pause this time so I don't get cucked by the, uh, by the one specimen. To do, do we'll get we'll continue in just a minute, chat. To do 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 do. do. <laughs> Who goes there? Thank you so much for the follow, Falcon Belt. Once again, thank you so much for coming and deciding to stick around. And really appreciate that. All right. Updated my Twitter handle to reflect that I'm streaming and now to do this. Uh. 
know what to do. Now that my due diligence has been completed, let us continue. Oh. Let us continue the game. I need to take another sip of wine. <laughs> How fast am I going to go through this glass? Alright. Alright, alright. That really rustled my jimmies, though. Let me tell you. That got me good. The things I do for your love and enjoyment, chap. I do like how the game actually puts in breathers every so often. Just empty rooms like this one. So you can, like, relax. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god. I know alcohol is a debuff to like willpower and shit, but come on. Whew, man. Oh, here we go again. Audio is getting freaky again. CPU is just looking pretty good. CPU temperature is sitting around 60 Celsius. CPU usage is sitting around 60% or so. Venboy, thanks once again. It looks like it's working. I mean, I'm running at 3080 here. So I don't, I'm pretty sure my GPU can handle all the additional offload processing. So far, so good, chat. So far. That's just ambient. Oh, no! Wait, we have to deal with the centipedes again. Yep. Those boys. Incident ah. Incidentally, I tend to find... I actually find these creatures to be the least threatening, along with the, um... Ghost lady. Which is weird, too, because I actually don't like centipedes. But, I think I'm more scared of spiders than centipedes by far. And even then, not all spiders. I'm particularly fond of tarantulas, because they're really fuzzy. But, there are some spiders that do give me the hill of the hibijilis. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? Well, how did that bite me? They're not following. Oh, there's more here.
Are they running faster than usual? That's weird. Usually, I can get through this without taking any damage. Oh, fuck! Where'd he come from? It's strange. I wonder if the specimens actually get stronger as you progress in the level in the rooms. Yeah, they didn't catch me that time, but that's because I wasn't paying attention to the game. I was just mindlessly holding down the shift key. Oh gosh, bread too soon. Hey, Tearwolf, how you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. life i hate this i hate these rooms 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 i hate this i hate this part i hate this part so much i hate the fact that you can't avoid it i know you can't fucking avoid the jump scare in this area yep okay i chickened out i chickened out chat i i was i lowered the volume on my headset mic and i was not looking at the screen I, my I, my eyes were partly closed because I was expecting it to come. I was expecting it to happen. I don't know the trick. I just assume that you have to like go through them repeatedly. Why? I don't I don't know what the trick was. I don't know if there. Wait. There's actually a trick to this? Really? Go through the loop three times, read the note, and then open the door? Huh. I would have never guessed that, to be honest. I just assumed it was random. You know quite a bit about this game? You must be, you're like a Spooky's jump scare master, right? Well, thanks for the tip. I thought it was just random. I didn't know that, I didn't know that there was actually a trick to it. Haha, <laughs> funny number, 669. Adjusting a headset mic or headset uh, volume. Ah, saw you coming, pumpkin boy. Fine, my health issue is gone, so jump scares won't harm this time. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'd prefer that you don't get harmed by watching my streams, so I'm glad that you're a lot better now. <laughs> Here we go again. Board. Hmm. Right. Okay. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left, right, right, left, right, right. 
Thank you. Hey Seal! Welcome to the stream. How are you tonight? And yes, you actually missed it pretty missed me getting jump scared pretty hard just now. Especially since I'm drinking a little bit of red wine tonight. Which has really lowered my inhibitions. This game is pretty damn good at jump scaring, I'm not gonna lie. This is how it almost feels like how jump scares are meant to be. I was expecting it to be more um, theme parky, to be more like a, a horror movie, a bad horror movie. But, oh, you've been lurking the whole time. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for lurking. <laughs> even know why I bother taking a shower before Monday stream, so I might as well do it after stream if I'm going to be sweating this much. And their brain. Oh, hey there. Looks a little bit different from last time. Oh! Lurk Legion, rise up. <laughs> Caught you lurking. Low sweat now, available from low store. <laughs> Gamer ship. Gamer girl bathwater takes on a new meeting. symbol on its head it looks like almost hmm. I can't help but feel like it's getting faster but I know it's just me not moving fast enough or slowing down a bit because of a False sense of security. Good thing there's only seven more floors left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Ugh. Fuck my life, man. Ah. It didn't spook me because I wasn't even facing that direction. How's that feel? It's spooky for the fact that it's moving slowly because it knows that you can't escape it, or at least it thinks that you can't escape it. I will keep that in mind, and I will not get too far, because I don't think my heart can take more spooks from this thing right now. Uh, is it the third form is probably the one that you can't actually escape from, right? I'll probably just look it up online on Steam or something later. So I don't need to intentionally get myself killed just to experience the spookiness of the parasite of the thing. From um, the titular movie, the thing. Speaking of movies, I do want to host a watch along for the first time. Since I mentioned I was going to do that like a few months ago and I never followed up on it, I would like us to watch a Star Wars film, preferably in chronological order from Phantom Menace through Return of the Jedi, because I refuse to acknowledge the most recent three films as being canon because they were garbage. But, um,. Oh, there's only two forms, okay. 
I wonder if it was just a glitch then that the very f initial in the initial beginning that a uh, big what the fuck a big round form popped up first, but now it doesn't even do that. I made it. I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. <laughs> Saved. And now it's time to hydrate really quick, because I'm losing too much blood. I mean, I mean water. I'm losing too much water. God, I can't believe this game. Just when I think I've gotten used to the spooks, it somehow gets worse. I can't imagine what the next spooks must be like. Uh, the parasite emerged from its... The worm coming from the vert was another entity. The parasite emerged from its head. Oh, that's very interesting. Good evening, Winter. How are you doing, Mangandanga Bay? You're just in time. Well, you actually missed me getting spooked so hard that I felt like I was going to pass out on camera uh, earlier in the stream. But I'm sure that this will happen again because I'm currently drinking myself a little bit of wine. And also, if this one was spooky, I can only imagine the next ones will be worse. You're doing better today? I'm glad to hear it. Alright, chat. Here we go. Ru the, uh, seven the floor 700. Hog 700 plus, yep. The spookening continues. Don't worry, there will be plenty of more places to be spooked. It's a good thing that I have a degree in Zalgotext. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Well, isn't that fancy? What fresh hell is this? Oh! Are you- No! No! Why you, ba- Why you? What do you mean, Freddy? Freddy Fazbear not, better not fucking appear in this game or I'm going to riot. Oh my god, I thought this parasite had left me alone, but no, here it is again. Oh my god. I think, you know what, I was- I started off this stream by saying that- Oh, oh no 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 no. No 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 I fucking- No. No 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 no. You know what, I started the stream off by saying that Dear God was the spookiest specimen yet- Specimen that I experienced so far. But this one, this takes the cake. This parasite thing. Totally takes the cake. Left or right? Left or right? Oh, it's a. Um. Um. Okay, it turned out it was left. Okay, good, good. Okay, now it's just forcing a ridge crit on the count of the monotony. <laughs> I know, right? Huh? Oh. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. What the hell? What a fresh hell is this? Taste the beef? 100% beef? What? Is this an Arby's? Are we in McDonald's hell? What is that noise? What's happening? What is this? I want to speak to your manager. Yeah. Today was a weird day. The average number of orders continues to rise as it has been, but I don't know about the number of people. Today I saw someone use a drive-thru and order a lot of food for one person. And then about 10 minutes later, they were back. They ordered the same exact meals and they left again. Then another 10 minutes, they were back again. Maybe they're just delivering food for a party hotel, but it worries me for some reason. Oh my god. 
I can't wait for the for it to be a Karen that I have to deal with in this one. I was anxious getting a job here at first, but it seems like things are getting better. The chain is really expanding, which is a shock because just last week I heard this company was going broke. Every day more and more people show up to eat here. Something still sets me off about this place and its food though, so I'm going to try and not eat anything from here. Honestly, just the fact that this fast food restaurant is inside a freaking giant scare mansion is in itself kind of spooky. Alright, that's locked. But I'm assuming I need to... Oh, oh, no, oh, no. I have to enter that thing? That's not spooky at all. Okay, so that's the way we came. Can't exit that way. Manager here, may I help you? Yeah, um, I need to know how to get out of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Oh god, chat! What, where's the bathroom for gender non-binary? I need a unisex bathroom. I'm kidding. I'll just, I'll enter both of them. Oh, no problem. I'll keep that in mind. Wait, am I a vampire? I don't show up in the, uh, mirror. Oh, no. Now there's a key here, but... Broken? I got a bad feeling about this. Well, I broke my own rule today. The management doesn't give out actual lunch breaks, so I can't go anywhere, and they won't allow outside food here. I mean, they actually screamed at the last customer who did that. Anyway, I had a burger. It wasn't bad, and I don't, and I don't feel sick, so I might get a few every now and then. Is this going to be a Soylent Green is People? A Soylent, Soylent Green is People thing? And I was just... Actually, I'm curious. Can I enter the female bathroom? Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay. It doesn't matter. Here's a spook. Their burgers aren't well done at all, and the fries are soggy. Wow, I love bloody burgers and uh, overcooked fries. Sign me up. Yum, yum. Be this tall. No screams. Look out for snakes. No alcohol. No diving. No hiding. We will find you. This is strange. I had a dream last night about this restaurant. I know it was here, but I also but I also felt like I was in another place at the same time. Everything looked so wrong. Nothing was the right size. I, and I kept hearing these strange animal noises, almost like wailing. I guess I just feel guilty for eating that burger the other day. Also today I saw that man again, the one who kept ordering every 10 minutes. This time, he never even left the parking lot. He just got his meal, parked, and then got back in line. He must have done it at least eight times before he left. Also, the milkshakes contain potassium benzo- Oh, that's fucking horrible. God. No matter what they say, potassium benzoate is not a replacement for NACL. Wait, is potassium benzoate the salt- The, uh, salt- The, uh, salt substitute, or is that the preservative? This taps into my fucking- childhood fear of entering those tube things and Chuck E. Cheese's and McDonald's and getting stuck in them. That's so rude. I love this game. <laughs> oh no. This is a Five Nights at Freddy's. This is giving me five... Wait, what am I saying? This is not Five Nights at Freddy's. There was a horrible accident today, at least that's what the managers are calling it. One of the other employees brought in some outside food and got into a fight with a manager about The employee said that the burgers here smell like sulfur. I then watched the manager grab the kid's neck and shove his head into onto the grill. The employee got up and ran out before anyone could do anything. And I'm told that he is fine, but that really shook me today. What the fuck? Thank you. 
This fucking music is starting to get to me, man. What the shit is that? Oh, oh no. There's something coming up. There's something coming up, and I probably shouldn't be there. I'm leaving. I fell asleep in my car today after eating one of those burgers. I remember brief flashes of a man or animal coming toward me and feeling like some huge lumbering thing was wailing from deep underground as I continued eating. But when I woke up, I was fine, but I had veered off the road. I don't know if it's some weird electric reaction to a preservative they use or something much worse, but this is my last day. Oh. Oh, that's, that's just fucking lovely, chat. That's totally what I want to deal with right now. The camera is not tracking it, but I'm actually- my teeth- my mouth is open, my teeth are like clenched. Alright, there's a key. Cool. Still can't exit. Oh, oh, fuck you, game. You want me to enter the freezer? Ah. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. No, 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 no Arby's, huh? Unfortunately for you, I do not like... Well, that's not true. So, Arby's has some good food, but I don't eat there very often. Usually, if I want roast beef, I go to Lion's Choice. We have the meats! Oh, shit. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's that's a big fuck you. Oh, my God. So, that's this game, huh? You're going to try and... You're going to try and... Uh, you're going to try and gaslight me. Is that how it is? Wait, whoa, 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 what was that just, that just popped up just now? Did you see that, chat? I'm not freaking out, right? Actually, it was a thing that happened, right? Oh my god. And it fucking teleports through walls, so I should probably just book it. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, he's catching up, chat. He is catching up. He's gonna force me to eat American fast food, and I'm not having it. You know how the uh, comedian always dies first in these horror in the horror flicks? Yeah, well, I'm the comedian. Oh, god. I imagine this would be like a vegan's worst nightmare, right? It doesn't freak me out, out as much because I'm used to seeing these uh, devil things. And, well, after a while you just sort of get used to it. Okay, those random things popping up do freak me out a little bit, but... As I've told previous uh, followers, previous viewers, I'm more of an audio-based per I'm audio-based spook. I get scared heavier, more easily by audio than I do by visuals. Hey, hey, why not both? Yeah, see, compared to the previous one before this, this one is not th that wasn't actually that bad. In my opinion. Forward, left. Forward, left. Forward, left. Forward, left. Forward, left. 
Whoa! I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions. I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. I wonder if anyone's actually had heart palpitations from playing this game. near room 800 so I don't have to deal with the fucking demon cow again but so many questions left unanswered though like for example why was there a guy just sitting in his car eating many 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 hundreds of burgers oh fuck this again. Hi. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, satanic burgers be weird, I guess. I mean, I know what they're trying to get at. A lot of good horror tries to bank off of taking something that normally you would find, normally you wouldn't find scary and making it scary. Um, but... I don't know. It just didn't hit me as much. Like I said, I I am a writer. I write science fiction. In particular, I'm quite fond of science of, spa of uh, space horror and science fiction horror. So that whole thing previously with the parasite that really got me good. Also, I'm scared of the dark, or at least I was when I was a kid. But that whole thing with the uh, devil burger, the scariest part of the devil burger scenario, so devil bur burger thing, was the claustrophobic uh, kids' playroom thing. That scared the shit out of me, in real life and in this game. But when the actual devil cow thing popped up, it didn't really affect me that much. I'm already used to, to satanic imagery. I'm already used to gore. Now, being in that fucking fridge, with all those meats hanging from the ceiling, yeah, that that was that was bad. I, I if there was a whole floor that was nothing but that, I would have not been able to handle that. She's lying to me about that. Oh, wow. So, room 750 is the final stretch already? I haven't got an achievement for it. It's just, do I just have to like sprint through 250 floors? Is that what's going on here? Alright. Guess that's how it is. Wish me luck, chat. Wait. Why am I not sprinting? 
Oh, oh, are you fucking kidding me? There is no sprint. She took my sprint away. Yeah, haha. -ha. Unlimited sprint. Yeah. Totally. Unlimited. You're right, it's time to stray. Wait, strafing is slower in this game. That's true, it is unlimited in a- oh wait! I could sprint again, cool. Actually, I like this ball, I like this monster, but I don't like the hallucinogens that appear all over the place. They really, they really fuck with me. I don't mean I don't like them in the I don't mean I don't like them in the sense that I dislike this part of the game. It's just, they creep me out, which is the point, right? Horror game. Still being followed by a guy. Hmm. Guess not. for a second. this one. I don't mind this one that much. Another one I'm just used to, I guess. Is she moving faster than usual? Hmm. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah, uh, for whatever reason, this is another one of these specimens that actually doesn't get my goat that much. Also, I think the music's pleasant, so... She actually talks, too. Interesting. a little bit stone-faced. Gonna take a nice break once we reach floor 800 to recuperate. Do a posture check on myself and all that good stuff.
What a good game. Even if it's fairly short. It's my, I usually like longer games, but... Oh! Ah! Steel, I can't see anything! I can't see! I can't see! Uh, ah! Yeah. Thank you. Now I can play again. <laughs> I actually have a couple new redeems that I've been testing out. For example, the ability to throw more than one object in my face now. Since y'all love torturing me so much. I did notice that. Oh, hello again. Ah, shit! No! What the fuck? Oh. They actually almost got me killed. <laughs> the, th uh, the throw redeem, I mean. Oh my god, thank you for the throw redeem. I was thinking about that. I was wondering, I was gonna actually ask chat if y'all wanted me to play the other modes as well, or if we should move on to a different video game. Actually, you know what? I think after I complete Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, I should, it will be time for us to do another redeem for y'all to decide what game I should play. I'm not sure what genre of game. Maybe you guys can force me to play a Battle Royale since I hate Battle Royale so much. <laughs> yeah, become a pro Apex player or something? I don't know. <laughs> I fucking suck at Apex, man. Hey, we made it. Room 800. Alright. Hey, Asha. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the redeem. Ara, ara. Now with that, I'm going to take a sip of wine. Ah, ow, 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 ow. Apex, more like an ape sex, am I right? Gay sex is also acceptable. Off stream. Wink. Ow! <laughs> Shit, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> the true battle whale. How you doing tonight? That reminds me. I'm going to be playing uh, Amogos with Asha Babadol and... Uh, a bunch of the a bunch of other friends and VTubers in the Studio X Discord. That's gonna be eight in the morning my time, so I should be able to make it. <laughs> Derp. Amogus. I got like one more sip of wine left in this glass. Save that for the end, near the end of the stream, I guess. <laughs> Day one, having fun. Are you enjoying watching or watching me suffer at your at your for your entertainment? Uh, pillar, make like a tree and die. Coming this fall. Well, that's not spooky at all. Hang in there. Room 8, floor 800, chat. We sure come far. I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> here we go! What fresh horrors await us here, I wonder. Because, like I said, the fast food one eh, didn't really do much for me. I can't believe we're in the Chamber of Secrets right now. Or not the Chamber of Secrets, um... What's the name of that thing in Harry Potter where they have to go through this place full of, like, vials of memories and stuff? Just to find one prophecy? I think it was in, uh, Book 5, right? Hmm. 
Order of the Burb, yeah. Order of the Phoenix, I think. They were in this room that was full of like these vials and stuff, and this the uh, the layout of this one kinda reminds me of that. Oh, it's locked. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Huh. Vampires, then? Is that what we're doing this time? I somehow managed to get away, but I don't know for how long. I hear him, even when I know he's not there. It's like he isn't even real, but instead my own fears manifesting themselves and stalking me. I can't believe we're in Melty Blood chat. We're fighting against Horatia this time. Oh, thank goodness. I don't need to hide in a freaking closet like in some games. Wait. What is this? Wow, what a mansion inside another mansion. Maybe I've made it all the way to the end of the house. Maybe this is like a resting place or another entrance, perhaps. Whatever the case, I think it's a good spot to rest. You know, that's how they get you. This mansion is strange. I think the bricks and wood are actually painted on. Everything still feels kind of fake. Also, I keep hearing movement and voices below me. Maybe other survivors are hiding down there. Uh, I don't want to find out. Thanks. A wine cellar? Hmm. I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. I now know this is not an exit or a resting place. It's just another specimen room. I think he's outside the door now. Oh, are you shitting me? Is that what we're doing now? Looks like a PlayStation era. So hmm. So this is what it is like. One of those games where you have to like hide and stuff from people. Hmm. I kind of, it kind of changes the gameplay a bit, which I dislike. But we'll try it out, chat. We'll see if we can get used to it. Bedroom key, huh? This is the bedroom, so is it the other bedroom? I hope the game doesn't do something like... I hope the game doesn't do something like where it tricks you and it's like you hide, but then he knows where you're hiding, so you get killed anyway. Once again, compared to the other monsters I've experienced so far, this guy is not so bad. Looks like a random Asian man with a scythe. Of course, now that I've said that, he's probably going to open the door and just stick me in the face with it, right? A library key, huh? Where's this at? As an Asian, I might agree. 
I mean, I was going off based off of the texture of his face, right? It sort of looked like he was Asian. But I only saw him for like a brief second, so... Who knows? Okay, got a parlor key, right? Where where's the parlor? This must be the exit exit. Oh, you can't actually hide a second okay. Where's the parlor then? If it's not, that's the dining room. Those are bedrooms. Oh man, the layout of this map is... These are both broken. That's a chimney. Dining room. Oh, okay. Piano room. Take the book. Picked up the book. Hide. We should be able to get a better look at what this guy looks like this time as he approaches. Yeah, I know. Compared to the rest of this game, this is fairly slow-paced. It's almost like a different genre of horror. So I have a book now. I guess I have to put this in the library? This is substantially spookier, spookier, that's for sure. Ah, so claustrophobic, so dusty. Thank goodness I was able to... I, was able, I knew it was time to hide because of the change in the background music. I hear you. <sighs> Just a different kind of horror, I suppose. Yeah, doesn't he look sort of Asian? Alright, so, a key. Does he just keep dropping keys in this place? Man. Well, I can't complain, I guess. Let's get out of here, chat. I hate being underground.
This is... Oh my fucking god! I don't know what that was, but he is angry. He is following us. He does not enjoy the fact that I've escaped this long. And I'm probably gonna get lost and get myself killed again, because that's how these things usually go. Oh my god! Oh. Hello there. Ooh, he is not happy, chat. He is not happy. We called him Asian. He took that as a he took offense. He took offense. He took offense. Fuck it, why am I looking back at him? That's not a good idea. I don't like the noises he makes. Those are not Asian noises. I should know. Uh 816? Okay. Pog, pog, pog. Pog me up inside. Can't pog up. What? Nice try, game. Okay. I'm reclining the machine. That was pretty good. That was, that was actually pretty good. All things considered. Alright then. Let's get back to it, chap. What other nasties are we gonna have to deal with before room 900? Are there even any other saves, or do I have to run through 250 floors? I guess we're gonna find out, right? I can't tell the real if I'm unreal anymore. My limbs refuse to move the way I want them to. I feel like I'm wading in a deep river that is always flowing against my direction. Now I will lay down and let the river flow over me. I will let it guide me to its end. I know where I'm going anyway. This place, this entire place is just gyrating. Just a gyrating, screaming rock in the vastness of an infinite kingdom. I'm going to rest now. I'll be watching over you. Oh. I think I know who this person is. I think I know who is writing these now. What could be more scary than an Asian man? I don't know, Steel. Why don't you tell us? <laughs> um... I'm going to... do a pro-gamer move and believe that the one writing all these notes was in fact spooky herself oh snap what's this cat dos docile to fatalities for method heart attack I can't believe it still killed four people though that's funny Hundred and thirty-seven fatalities. Physical tearing. Mostly semi-solid base specter that frequently changes matter states. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. Poisonous fatalities, infectious bites, a specimen being developed by a GL labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it is adequately effective against average subjects. Well, thank you for not spoiling. I cannot wait to see the truth. This one actually consumes you? A 14th century spirit that was contained and relocated here? Tests have yet to reveal origins, but all relevant information has been placed into testing chamber. Proof effective, but not greatly more than previous specimens. What's this one? 
creature found inside the church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with the specimen. Method of... It's kind of screwed up here. It, method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective when against subjects with mental issues or weak wills. Ah! Majora's Mask. A wooden life-size puppet float were found floating in a reservoir where a town had once been. The specimen has, is active despite appearance and has proved very effective on subjects who disregard it or have vision impairments. I'm not gonna say if it's right or not, it's the one that makes the hallucinations. Huh. Next. Oh, there's actually a lot of specimens. What's this one? Specimen is constantly changing form and attributes to, depending on subject personality, but most common form resembles a wall of moving anatomy symbols. Only effective on subjects with past trauma or a history of psychological issues. Okay. I saw this. I saw something moving in the wall, but I didn't know if it was part. If it was actually a specimen or if it was part of the game. And I was tempted to stick around and to watch the thing move, but I didn't want to stick around in those hallways, so I never took the time. I didn't know if there was a specimen or not. That's interesting. <laughs> This one will one hit kill? I wonder why it never killed me then. Maybe I was just lucky or maybe because I just moved out of the way fast enough. Oh man, the boat, the, do the, the dear lord. A floating figure that appeared in a test chamber a few years after it was filled with what was believed to just be unusually violent deer. The specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. It proved extremely effective on violent subjects. <laughs> Indeed. Take the dead. Take the dead to the. Take the dead to take the dead to take the dead. Ooh, parasitic infections. A form changing creature that is believed to be an extraterrestrial, although it was not officially proven, proved very effective on most subjects, but deemed too difficult to contain. The specimen broke out of its containment area due to frequent electrical malfunctions. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office once owned by a restaurant franchise. Is this a Five Nights at Freddy's reference? The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the how leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with specimen but sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside a testing chamber days later. Proved not effective as victims souls do not remain after contact. As victims souls do not remain after contact. Oh I see. I'm glad that was actually the last specimen. An old Victorian mansion that seems to build itself around its environment. The specimen sometimes chooses a host to possess and uses them to attack the subjects with various means depending on the host's characteristics. Not much is known about the origin of the mansion, but sing signs occasionally show an earlier massacre or tragedy has taken place within the mansion. Proved very effective, but varies itself too often to be a reliable method of extraction. So she's extracting our souls, huh? Interesting. You can't modify the house layout anymore. Interesting. Who goes there? Oh, it's the mansion. Wait, it's the mansion? What?
Really? Oh no, that noise. Oh wait, no, it's the it's the guy. Okay. Oh, do you? I oh, one. I was just in. Okay. Looks like it's getting faster almost. Oh no, now there's multiple of them. You know what? I just realized the cat was not listed on the list of subjects, of the list of specimens. Snap. Those hallucinations are really starting to get to me, not gonna lie. Oh, only one can chase you in a time in story mode. Okay. That's good to know. Final stretch indeed, huh? Oh, ball sacks. Keep that blood pumping and better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of Home Depot. Mm. 
100 floors left, chat. 100 floors. This has certainly been an honor. I don't know about y'all, but I'm enjoying myself. I don't really get to play horror games that much. The last horror game I tried to play through was Resident Evil Zero. I didn't finish it, not because I don't I got scared, but because I didn't make the time to. I'll probably be covering the Resident Evil games on this channel sometime in the future. So that would be interesting to watch. Let me take a look at my uh, uh, afterburner here really quick. I just want to check on something. Hmm. Swiggy's jump scare mansion really doesn't use that much of the GPU, does it? CPU has been running fine too. I mean, what, well, barely, what, uh, 60 degrees Celsius here? I wonder if I can run VTuber Plus at 60 frames per second now. Uh, CPU usage is definitely starting to sp is definitely increasing by a large order of magnitude. So maybe not. The important thing anyway is my lip mouth lip sync, which is the same at thirty and at thirty and sixty FPS. GPU usage has not changed at all. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, CPU usage has definitely increased, but GPU usage, not too much. And all from doubling the FPS in my avatar. I'm guessing it's not a big deal. If, I guess it's not really that big a deal for y'all that I'm using if I use 30 or 60 FPS for my avatar, right? But if my CPU can handle it, and it seems to be dancing between 80 and 90% or 90% uh, usage, maybe it's not that big of a deal. For the final stretch, we'll go ahead and go full ham. It's time for me to finish my wine. Cheers. This sir, wait. This is for you, Lolis. Thank you for being my loyal followers. <sighs> oh, that's for wash that out with some water. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? The last 100 rooms of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It's going to be wild, I'm sure. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to chat with you again. Quite literally, apparently. Huh? 
Well, that's interesting. Wait, wh wait, wh what's what's going on? I'm s what's going on? What is this? What the hell is this? There's no music. I it's too dark to see. Open, broken. What the hell is this? Research report three. Whale B, whale B one five A is still alive, but gets into fits of thrashing, and surfacing more often than natural. I think there may be a problem with its lungs, but I don't have any tools that would allow me to check without dying. I will have to allow it to die from whatever is causing it, and then do an autopsy. Whale B one four D has strange small bite marks. They appear to be from smaller another smaller animal, but the strangest thing about them is their placement. They are in even rows along inside the whale's stomach, all about five feet from the bottom of the stomach lining. Is this an amnesia reference? This is an amnesia reference. I bet you the game is gonna take away the lantern from me too, huh? Except 4132, and then I watched curiously as the sea rose above the sky, casting waving shadows over the world. I saw the silhouettes of creatures both familiar and forgotten, and suddenly I found myself falling upwards toward an ocean of darkness. Ooh. We're doing Amnesia to Dark Descent this time, I guess. Hmm. Okay. I've ever never actually played Amnesia. I know what it's like though. Huh? Oh. Research report four. Whale zero one five D has died much sooner than I expected while I was away on holiday. I regret not being here, but I've had but I had estimated it would live much longer. The team that did the autopsy said nothing seemed to be wrong with the lungs. But the stomach had a circular hole about two feet in diameter all the way through the outside of the whale. It pretty much confirms the parasite is the cause of death. Interesting. Wait, am I missing one? Oh, that's backwards. Because here's research report two, three. Here's research report two. Where's one? Is there even a one? Nothing here? Ah, research report 4. Wait, no, that was on the... Okay. I'm getting blue balls right now. So, there's a 2, a 3, and a 4, but there's no 1. And a 5. The research facility is now in dire need of more engineers. We have full block that is flooded and some vital staff are missing. Did I read every... That's broken. Okay, already went here. So those have already been, huh. with those all out of the way, the only place I can go forward is forward now. Water's too high. Danger, high water pressure. We're underwater then. Okay. So we have to lower the water, I guess. But the only way to lower the water is to go back to... 
Oh, I understand. The excerpt had the code on it. Excerpt 4132, it said, right? I know that when I start this, the game will start in earnest. Research report six. I hear a girl or an animal or something singing to me, pleading that I come from out, that I come outside my locked room and let the sweeping waves comfort me. Oh, that's glorious! A siren. Of course the lantern got snuffed out. We're in a... Oh. Interesting. So this is going to be the map that fucks with people who have philosophobia, I bet. I have a key. Very interesting. Research report 7. All the staff is gone. Only I remain. For no purpose, I shall remain here, resisting the call from behind the sealed door. But I will remain as long as I can. Don't open that door. What door, I wonder? Oh! Oh, snap! A mermaid. Interesting. So, I have two. Hmm. Ow. So, I have to wait a bit for my health regen, I see. Okay, you know what? This is not too bad. I can deal with this. Maybe. It's too deep. Wait, is she following me in here? Oh. Only in the water, I see. But... Oh, she's water-based, so I guess that makes sense. Ah. Very interesting. Very interesting map. Does she not know where I am all the time? She's confused. She actually doesn't know where I am all the time. Okay. That's cool. Ow, oh, fuck. Man, she's fast. It's a very creative stage, I'm not gonna lie.
Oh, man. Yeah, that's not good. Oh! So she has a sprint, too, I see. Very interesting. Ow! I keep being bitten by this bloody mermaid. Where's the exit of this one? Uh, ban. Where's the ban button? There we go. Slow and steady wins the race. We're in room 922, chat. We're making good time. All things considered. Oh, man. I don't know how I'm going to get past them now. Because they're over there. Now we can. Okay. How many more rooms of this, man? Gosh. Ow. Shit, she's fast.
juked. Big time juking. More of this. Oh, that was close. I think we made it, though. Room 925? Oh, man, we have not. We're only in room 925. Oh, we went the wrong direction, too. That's not good. Almost there. If you escape, she'll never let you smash, though. That's true. Something tells me she wants to smash me, anyway. She kind of has what I'm assuming is a rather... clingy disposition. This is very monotonous, I gotta say. At least compared to the other monsters we had to deal with. But it's a nice change of pace. I'm not nearly as spooked by this creation as I have been by the other monsters. Gotta say, I keep expecting her to like pop out of the water or something. She clearly can, because in the very beginning, you see her mermaid form. Ow! Unless, of course, the mermaid form is a lie. It probably is. In some versions of the story, sirens take the form of a man, but don't actually look, but aren't actually human, nesh looking. It's just an illusion. Maybe that's the case with this one. Still, though, the anticipation is. Uh. Getting me excited. I want to see the end of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. At least the base game. Hmm. 
This is very monotonous. I'm not going to lie, chat. I mean, it's a nice experimentation, but... I guess when you've played like 800 floors, the same thing. It's very nice change of pace, but it's also kind of jarring just from a pacing perspective, I guess. God, 70 more floors of this chat. Water level. I wonder if, um, if, uh, what's his face? I wonder if. Shit, I forgot his name. Uh, a video game reviewer. Plays a lot of Doom, uh, Doom Wads. Pro Newcomb. It's not what I wanted to look at. Fuck off. One second. Icarus? No, not Icarus. Um, Civi 11. I wonder if Civi 11 would consider this a sewer level and if he would add this to his list of sewer levels. What the shit? Oh, I went the wrong direction. Damn it. I got confused. But not at Chris Lives. I also watch at Chris Lives, though. Did I just juke the. I did. I literally sidestepped it. Based. Okay, this is getting a little bit tiring doing so many floors of this. Yeah, I'm getting a little impatient, so I'm taking more risks. We're on floor 938, and I don't know if this is going to end at 950 because the change has been so radical. It could still change, I suppose. I also have a bad feeling that Karma is going to bite me in the ass and be like, Oh, so you didn't appreciate all the work we did into the sewer level, huh? Well, here you go. You get to, fu you get to run against the uneven... Crazier monster than a siren. Wouldn't that just be lovely? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. 
We go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Okay, I think this one is a little bit different from the others. No? Yeah, it is finally a different map. Not by much, though. Oh, you almost got me there. Not. No, oh, right or left? Let's go right, chat. Ow! At least that was the right direction. Get it? Right direction. I hope I don't have to go over there and the exit's this way. But I have a feeling the exit's over there. Just a hint, uh, a uh, hint, you know? Yep, 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 of course it is. No, not you again. Can you please fuck off? Seriously. It's literally the devil. I was raised Catholic, you know. I'm not scared of the devil as much as I used to be. Yeah, those little uh, grotesque things popping up in my vision don't really do any do much for me either. Sorry, babe. You're just not my type. Oh! Oh, you son of a whore! You teleported through the fucking wall. That's cheating. It heard me talking shit. And didn't think that I would hear it. And didn't think that... And didn't think that he would hear it. That I would... And didn't think he would hear it. Right. Okay. Right. Forward. Right. Right. Forward. Right. Right. Forward, right, right. Uh, 
Oh, what the fresh hell is this? Why are there boxes everywhere? What is this? through it three times, okay. Three times. Read the thing. It didn't work. Okay, it worked. God damn. Oh, not again. More of this business, I suppose. We're 19 rooms away from winning the game, chat. At least, assuming that there's exactly a thousand rooms in Spooky's Jump Secure Mansion. Sidestepping for the win.
Ten more floors, chat. Oh, man, I got Kalos. Give us a minute. Pause, champ. Yeah, thanks for a reminder. Pause, champ, indeed. Dang. Okay. Let's do it. Whoa! Huh. I ran right past her. Six more rooms, chat. Huh? There's a save point based behind the last five rooms? Interesting. All right, I'm gonna go take a short bathroom break, chat. When we when I get back, we're gonna finish the fight. Uh, no idea. That's what we're here to find out. Hope it's good. Be right back. Taking a sip of water and we'll get right to it.
<sighs> Magnolia channel has followed? Huh. Interesting. Oh, that doesn't sound spooky at all. <laughs> Last five rooms, chat. It's going to be good. Wait, why can't I leave? What the fuck? It's locked. Oh. I almost forgot. I had an axe with me. This looks, f well, this doesn't look fake as shit. Feels like we're stuck somewhere. How do I know this is not just another hallucination? In fact, the music's bugging out. Yep, figures. Fake sky screen seer has been disabled. Yep. Windows Vista. <laughs> Great, what's this now? Seven three one. What is happening, in my game? Oh, hey there. What's up, my dude? What's up? What's up? Am I supposed to be scared of you? This is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, man. As if I don't already play enough FPS games as it is. I gotta say, though, this is really cute. My dude. After you played uh, Devil Daggers, shit like this does not turn you off anymore. And believe me, Devil Daggers was fairly fucking scary.
Wait, I have an axe. Can I kill you? Can I kill this guy? I can't even hit it, so I guess not. Oh, so you're supposed to hit them. Okay. Oh, you can actually kill them. Ha! Huh. I see. So you are supposed to fight this thing. Okay, I didn't know if you were supposed to fight it or not. Bitch ass. times you have to hit them. How much life did this guy have? I guess this must be... Okay. I see. Spamming the shit out of everything. I see how it is. Are you still alive up to now? Come on. Finally. <sighs> Ow. Well, you died. In a pretty tragic way, too. Just tragic enough for you to become a ghost. Good job, by the way, making it this far. So buckle up, soldier, because now I finally think we have enough troops to invade. What? Invade what? The time has come, my loyal troops. No longer shall we be called cute or adorable. No longer will we be disregarded and ignored. For now, 
Took me three hours. To, huh. That was a fairly cute game. I'm not gonna lie. I watched a uh, music video that was made based off that was about Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, and the way the game implied stuff near the end, or the uh, music, uh, the uh, song implied stuff near the end of the song, led me to make some assumptions about the game that turned out to be wrong. I got the good ending? Great! Is that because I cho took the time to actually read everything in the game? Kinda neat that there's more than one ending to this game too. No, it's because you didn't use the axe a lot? Oh, well, that's good. I mean, I only used the axe when I needed to, which was in that one level. If you didn't say anything, I would have not even thought to use the axe on the boss or on that uh, door. So I'm glad you did. Otherwise, this game could have turned out way differently. Wow, and you know what? We're actually four minutes to the end of our normal stream ending time. Usually we go for three hours in this channel. Sometimes we'll go into fourth, and occasionally I go into five. Some specimens are susceptible, are susceptible to the axe? That's interesting. I'm guessing the specimens that are susceptible to the axe include the uh, spy, the uh, centipede. Oh, I'm guessing this must be the grandma or something. After credit scenes? No? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, this could not have ended more perfectly. I'm glad I got the good ending. And it seems like y'all really enjoyed yourselves, so I'm of course happy that y'all enjoyed my suffering. <laughs> I'm still pretty wired up. So usually I would say that we should go ahead and continue playing something else, or may continue playing the rest of the options here. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, El Miguel. Thank you so much. That's really appreciated. I don't... I play variety games. It just so happens that thanks to a poll that I hosted on Twitter and Discord, my followers asked me to play this game on Mondays. That's why I did so. I'm not sure if I'm going to do... The rest of these? I mean, I guess it says here, Spooky Stallhouse, that there's a, um, another a continuation, right, of the mansion. So maybe I'll do these next month, next week? I'm not sure yet. Um, I would continue playing tonight, but I do have a Among Us game to play with Asha tomorrow, in around 8 hours from now. That's also the time that I start work, incidentally enough, but I'm able to, since I work from home now, I'm able to do both at the same time, right? So, I won't be streaming that one since I need to work, but I will, that will be streamed on Asha's, on Asha's channel, I believe. So, if you would like to watch that, that'd be great. In the meanwhile, thank you everyone for coming tonight. We're going to go ahead and raid. If you would like to get some free channel points, please stick around. Let's see who's online tonight.
it appear there's quite a few people on streaming tonight actually oh ho ho what do we have here it would appear that professor tetsu is streaming resident evil considering that we just finished up a horror game that seems like our best choice for tonight i rarely really see shika streaming these th streaming to be honest though and he's playing tekken 7 Quite a few good choi uh, good choices for uh, tonight, actually. Mm. For now, though, we will go ahead and raid Tetsuo, our professor Tetsuo, since he is playing a horror game, and we just got off a horror game stream. Let's make sure that he's not going to leave anytime soon, though. He's been streaming for about an hour and 42 minutes so far. Should be all right. He even has a heart rate monitor. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing I have to find the same kind of key and replace it. I don't know where it's at. And so yeah, I'm not sure about that area, but I have I got my shotgun. So yeah, I got the I got the it changed the line. It's like you were almost a you were almost a bit of Sam there because I was like you. For tonight's raid call, let's go ahead and use. Lulz Woke. We're going to be using Spook Raid tonight. Oh, shit. If you do not have access to my emojis, feel free to use the emojis of your choice. Otherwise, thank you once again, everyone, for coming tonight. I'll see you next Monday, and well, actually, I'll see you this Wednesday. We're gonna be coming to it. We're gonna be playing some Outward. I'll see you next Monday if you want to stop by just for the Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And on Friday, we will be playing more DSX, and I'll be revealing a new costume. Have a good night, all. Oh, hi, welcome.